According to the divine revelations made to Veronica Lucan, a Catholic seer of Bayside, New York, in the United States, that the papacy of Pope Paul VI was overthrown by apostate and traitorous ecclesiastics. The leaders of this revolution were named as Cardinal Jean Villet, now deceased, former Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Giovanni Benelli and Cardinal Agostino Casseroli. In his place they installed an imposter pope, a priest who was a fine actor. By means of skillful plastic surgery he was made to appear very like the true pope and taught to imitate his voice and mannerisms. Pope Paul VI was given poisonous injections, which weakened and paralyzed him. They censored and changed his documents and letters, and thus perverted and falsified the teaching of the whole church. The same information including greater detail came forth on January 16, 1976, in Switzerland during an exorcism conducted by seven Catholic priests on a possessed woman. The demon speaking through the possessed woman, and by the power of the Blessed Virgin Mary, forced to declare truths regarding occurrences orchestrated by demons through their agents in the Vatican. Following is the extract from the revelations concerning Pope Paul VI. It was revealed that a double had been used to replace Pope Paul VI. The full text of the exorcism is published in the book, Warnings from the Other World to the Contemporary Church. It includes the names of the seven priests who conducted the exorcism and has the imprimatur of Archbishop Stanley Monaghan, dated January 4, 2003. Quote, You must say, in the name of God, that there is a double in Rome. He has a face which is a little different from that of the true Pope. His eyes are not so deep set as the latter's. The true Pope is feeble and sickly. The eye color is different between each. The false Pope has studied theology. He is well organized. He is a good actor. He is not the only guilty one. The others, who set him up, carry the greatest responsibility. The diplomatic corps are becoming aware of the hoax but many of them just do not want to know about it. But it is strange that the laity are not aware of it. They should see clearly when he is not well made up. He does not entirely resemble the true Pope. There are several cardinals who installed him, but that has been done in such a way that even the good people are led into error, as the scripture says. But nowadays, people do not consult the scriptures so much. Surgery has made so much progress today that it will soon be able to make a man the same as another even to the feel of him. As to his breathing, that is difficult. And when a man lives in the Vatican, as the double does, the cardinals can, at their leisure, talk to him, and teach him all the habits and mannerisms of the true Pope so well, that he has no difficulty in imitating all this mimicry. Only, sometimes, he makes a small blunder, but nobody notices it. We must say, by her order, the Blessed Virgin, that he is still in existence. The Pope is suffering a great torment, as we have already had to say. If he had been at the helm, able to say what he would like to say, the Church would never have reached the situation where it now is. He lives wretchedly in his apartments and is waiting for better time to return for the Church. Yet everything seems hopeless. He is literally tormented by his subordinates who should support and help him in his task and, in the grave situation in which the Church finds itself, back him up in everything. We are able to arrange it so that he is no longer as competent. He doesn't have much to say anymore. He is a martyr as we have said that previously. He is in a worse situation than the martyr, Stephen. He is very much loved in heaven, very much loved. And we must say yet again about what comes from those insubordinate cardinals must not he obeyed. At all events, he knows what is going on. He is suffering unspeakably owing to what those cardinals are doing. It is not what heaven and what he himself would wish, which is published in the world and in the church, and which reaches the bishops. He is very well aware that he is like a prisoner, that he is, as it were, a prisoner of the Vatican. He suffers a great torment because of this." Unquote. Following are photos where the subtle difference in features between the true pope and the double, can be clearly seen.
Thank you.